This is, a, this is a cool little doormat. And you got the UPS guy coming over with his dirty hands and his germs. You could just... <sighs> Much better. I have yet to show you guys what's in here, by the way. And I'll, I will show you this before, you know, we get to the new office. But uh, maybe just a sneak peek. Are those, what are, what are those, those guns? What's going on in there? Yo, what's up guys? And welcome back. This is a bit different from uh, every every other Wednesday video. So normally I have Antoine and uh, Lee here to help me out, especially Lee with uh, the camera work and a lot of the editing that goes into the intro. So if you find this week's intro to be lackluster, it's because I had no uh, professional help from my much needed friends uh, who helped make these videos amazing. Next week, we're back on schedule. Came back from traveling a week ago, so I wanted to give it a, a good two weeks before I uh, was in contact with anyone else so that being said you'll have to make do with that intro for this week but we're back on schedule very soon uh, today guys is a very cool puzzle indeed i've been looking forward to this i found this on an auction man this thing's heavy this is made by brian young in australia who owns the shop called mr puzzle not to be confused with the youtuber this was a limited edition parking meter puzzle which i thought looked great and of course, you know, I love puzzles that, you know, imitate actual working objects such as this. If you feel the camera going lower and lower, it's because my arm ugh, is getting tired. I forget what it's like to vlog. Always got a tripod. See, I've got tripods over there. It's throwing me for a loop here. By the way, we're going to start work on the new office very soon, which I'm excited. And I'd ask you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see the build out. So I think tomorrow's video, I'm going to give you guys uh, the grand tour of the ground floor of the new office and what it looks like right now and the plans that we have for it. That's something you want to see smash like. Anyways guys, without any further ado, let's get into solving this little guy. This is the parking meter puzzle by Brian Young. How cool is that? Funny story, when I bought this at the auction, uh, I only saw a picture of it, it was an online auction. I only saw a picture of it and I thought it was much larger. I thought it was like three feet tall. <laughs> I received it. I'm like, Ugh. it's like one of those, uh, you know, you see pictures of people buying chairs on Amazon and they get it. And it's like this big. It's kind of how I felt. I think I closed out the auction at about $700. So <laughs> it's a $700 parking meter. I could have bought a real parking meter for that price, made some money. Alas, uh, this, uh, yeah, Mr. Puzzle Australia, which is Brian Young. Uh, it's their site over there. This one out of circulation, not available anymore. Hard to find. Very cool. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and try and open this. Little doozy here. So you got a quarter, I guess an Australian quarter here. Oh, so you got... Oh. What is this? There seems to be, as you can see inside, there's like a groove that goes downwards. Huh, so this wants to come out, but I'm guessing it's stuck by the quarter maybe or something else. That's glued there, so we don't want to move uh, this peg. Yeah, there's like a small groove on the uh, on the inside there, like a like a hole. So this was like this, which was in there. What if we turn it upside down and put it back in, or was that the way it came out? Oh, now it's, now it's stuck. Great. Okay. Or is that how it was supposed to be in? So this is in there. Because it falls into that tiny groove, this gets offset just a little bit, which hampers it, which, which uh, prevents it from, from uh, being extracted. So I'm guessing it would probably do the same. There's another groove on top, and it would probably do the same thing if I was upside down like this. Correct. Yeah, it doesn't come out. I would have to go this way. Oh, right, okay, now drop through. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's a strange mechanism. I'll try to draw it out for you. Give me a second. So, um, let's say this is the compartment. And then you have this thing going like this with the quarter. On the inside, there are two blocks. And then there's that small block here, but then there's a hole here, which that small block drops into, which prevents this from being extracted. But then over that, there's another block, and that block has some type of compartment there. So I don't know if flipping it around would do anything. I don't see how it would. Um, and this wiggles ever so slightly. See, I can go in there and I can hook I can hook that compartment, but I can't pull it out. Obviously it's stuck there. What, uh, what's your guess here? What would you do? Let me know. I need help. Quarter is stuck. Okay, hold on. What a weird bind we're in right now. Bam! And the quarter drops in. Right there. Wow. So I'm not sure if that was the legit solution, but I kind of went with my gut on this one and it kind of worked out. So what I did was this is the top compartment and I placed this on the inside here, but the inside was, so you can imagine, would stay just like that. I used this as a hook, pushed it in, brought this up and then pulled out. And how does that work? Why does that open it? I will show you. On the inside, there are two, uh, I believe, brass pegs. You can see one of them lightly right there. So there are two of those pegs. And let me try and, yeah, so those pegs get pushed up. So how are those pegs locking everything in place is my question. Oh, so this is like this. I see. So when the quarter's up, this gets placed in sideways. Now those pegs are preventing uh, this from, from entering. So by using, ah, uh, okay. So that goes in like that, right? And then by using this to sort of pry them upwards, I was able to slide it out. But how can I do that again? I'm not sure. Oh, because it got pushed out this way. So now they are locked in place. So both pegs, what? Both pegs, um, so this thing is sideways. So this is the view from the inside. Looking upwards from underneath. There's a peg here and a peg here, which prevents it from getting out. So this piece here, 
was not enough to push those pegs upwards so that I can slide this out. Therefore, I had to insert this one in here, then bring this in, push up, and then I was able to extract it. They're cutting up as my neighbor's renovating. At this point, I'm pretty sure they're just hiding bodies in the wall because, you know, they've been renovating for like a year. I probably shouldn't ask too many questions. Oh my God, help me. See, that's just, we'll just ignore it. We got stuff to do. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then it allows the quarter to drop down and the quarter is then stuck in a compartment so you can't actually take the quarter out, which is also cool. That's a nice little feat of engineering here. That's where the seam is. I guess that's how they got it together. But I like the fact that the quarter never actually comes out. So you can't rob this machine. Uh, this uh, parking meter. All right, so let's try and... Okay, so this one goes in the bottom. That's what, that's what's up. Because if I go here... Yes. See, now that's locked. Uh, this would have been stuck. I would have been here for quite a while until I understood that I had to do it upside down so that the piece is then uh, not stuck in that hole and can freely move out. Like so, because otherwise that piece would have dropped down. And then once that's done, let's do this one more time for good measure. Uh, we want to bring it here, allow it to drop in, come back out, push it down. Maybe this way, yes and then we can extract it. So now there's still one. Oh my God, there's, okay, there we go, there we go. This comes out. Wait, what? This much like the, um, the fire hydrant is very cool. The mechanics are very simple and ingenious. So again, here, we want to bring that in, drop it off, come back, push, and then pull it out, right? And now from this side, uh, push in and then pull out, I got you. So it's a two-step thing here, where I gotta push it in, drop it, and then take it back out, grab it, hook it, and pull out. Wow, what a very ingenious puzzle this was. And there you go. Pretty cool, I'm very satisfied with this. Rating out of 10, definitely like a nine. Uh, the level of difficulty is, is yeah, probably like an, a seven or eight, but the uh, ingenuity is uh, is way up there. The craftsmanship is great. Simple, yet unique mechanics. But all in all, a great little piece, a lovely little puzzle. Very happy with this. Well, hot. Dang. Not disappointed at all with this puzzle. Perfect little puzzle. Just much like the, the hydrant puzzle that I solved the other week which was just delightful. It was, it's, it's so refreshing to get a puzzle that isn't disappointing, that has all the little things. Uh, this, I guess, falls into the category of a sequential discovery puzzle as you do discover a tool that'll help you accomplish the, uh, that'll help you discover the solution. I wish I can give you guys a link to purchase this puzzle. However, it is not, uh, is no longer available. So guys, tomorrow we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the office, bit of a vlog day. I think I haven't done that in ages. Friday, I'm still thinking we're gonna do a live puzzle solve. And it's, if that's something you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. I'm super down to do it. And uh, I'm getting ready, getting ready to set it up with my DSLR. Uh, hopefully that all works out. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all your support in these crazy times. Oh, my arm. You just do weights here. I can just weight lift this camera. I haven't been going to the gym, obviously, because it's a germ center. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Ah.